The Revelation of John Chapter 1 The Revelation of John, a servant of God, which was given unto him of Jesus Christ, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass, that he sent and signified by his angel unto his servant John, who bore record of the word of God, and of the testimony of Jesus Christ, and of all things that he saw. Blessed are they who read, and they who hear and understand the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time of the coming of the Lord draws near. Now this is the testimony of John to the seven servants who are over the seven churches in Asia, grace unto you, and peace from him who is, and who was, and who is to come, who has sent forth his angel from before his throne, to testify unto those who are the seven servants over the seven churches. Therefore, I, John the faithful witness, bear record of the things which were delivered to me of the angel, and from Jesus Christ, the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth. And unto him who loved us be glory, who washed us from our sins in his own blood, and has made us kings and priests unto God and his Father, to him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. For behold, he comes in the clouds with ten thousands of his saints in the kingdom, clothed with the glory of his Father, and every eye shall see him. And they who pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth, shall wail because of him. Even so, Amen. For he says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, the Lord who is, and who was, and who is to come, the Almighty. I, John, who am also your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and what you see, write in a book and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamum, and unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. And I turned to see from where the voice came which spoke to me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the middle of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot and girded about the breasts with a golden girdle, his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shining in his strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not. I am the first and the last, I am he that lives, and was dead, and behold, I am alive for ever, amen, and have the keys of hell and of death. Write the things which you have seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. This is the mystery of the seven stars which you saw on my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the servants of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which you saw are the seven churches. Unto the servant of the church of Ephesus write, These things says he that holds the seven stars in his right hand, who walks in the middle of the seven golden candlesticks. I know your works, and your labor, and your patience, and how you cannot bear them who are evil. And you have tried them who say they are apostles, and are not, and have found them liars, and have borne, and have patience, and for my name's sake have labored, and have not wearied. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against you, because you have left your first love. Remember therefore from where you are fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto you quickly, and will remove your candlestick out of its place, except you repent. But this you have, that you hate the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches, to him that overcomes will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. And unto the servant of the church in Smyrna write, These things says the first and the last, who was dead and is alive, 
I know your works, and tribulation, and poverty, but you are rich, and I know the blasphemy of them who say they are Jews, and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of those things which you shall suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried, and you shall have tribulation ten days. Be faithful unto death, and I will give you a crown of life. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. He that overcomes shall not be heard of the second death. And to the servant of the church in Pergamum write, These things says he who has the sharp sword with two edges. I know your works, and where you dwell, even where Satan's seat is, and you hold fast my name, and have not denied my faith, even in those days wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you, where Satan dwells. But I have a few things against you, because you have there those that hold to the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. So have you also those that hold to the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. Repent, or else I will come unto you quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. To him that overcomes will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knows save he that receives it. And unto the servant of the church in Thyatira write, These things says the Son of God, who has his eyes like unto a flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass. I know your works, and charity, and service, and faith, and your patience, and the last to be more than the first. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against you, because you suffer that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication, and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. And I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. Behold, I will cast her into hell, and those who commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. And I will kill her children with death. And all the churches shall know that I am he who searches the reins and hearts, and I will give unto every one of you according to your works. But unto you I say, and unto the rest in Thyatira, as many as have not this doctrine, and who have not known the depths of Satan, as they speak, I will put upon you no other burden, but that which you have already, hold fast until I come. And to him who overcomes, and keeps my commandments unto the end, will I give power over many kingdoms, and he shall rule them with the word of God. And they shall be in his hands as the vessels of clay in the hands of a potter. And he shall govern them by faith, with equity and justice, even as I received of my father. And I will give him the morning star. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. And unto the servant of the church in Sardis write, These things says he who has the seven stars, which of the seven servants of God, I know your works, that you have a name, that you live and are not dead. Be watchful therefore, and strengthen those who remain who are ready to die, for I have not found your works perfect before God. Remember therefore how you have received and heard, and hold fast and repent. If therefore you shall not watch, I will come on you as a thief, and you shall not know what hour I will come upon you. You have a few names even in Sardis who have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcomes, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. And to the servant of the church in Philadelphia write, These things says he that is holy, he that is true, he that has the key of David, he that opens and no man shuts, and shuts and no man opens, I know your works. Behold, I have set before you an open door, and no man can shut it, for you have a little strength, and have kept my word, and have not denied my name. Behold, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before your feet, and to know that I have loved you. 
because you have kept the word of my patience, I also will keep you from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which you have, that no man take your crown. He that overcomes will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, this is new Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven from my God, and my new name. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. And unto the servant of the church of the Laodiceans write, These things says the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were cold or hot. So then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew you out of my mouth, because you say, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing, and know not that you are wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. I counsel you to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that you may be rich, and white raiment, that you may be clothed, and that the shame of your nakedness does not appear, and anoint your eyes with thyself, that you may see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, be zealous therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and will eat with him, and he with me. To him that overcomes will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am seated with my father in his throne. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches.